Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines and I'm back with a Illuminar tutorial. A small tutorial that basically answers the question, what happened to layers in Luminar 4? Stay tuned. Before we start this video guys, I just want to remind you that I am a Luminar partner. Uh, I'm showing you different aspects of Luminar 4. If you like what you see, you can buy. You don't have to buy, you know, it's but it's just a way to support the channel. Uh, you go below, check in the description. There is a discount code and you also have a link. Follow that link and follow that discount code and it gets me just a tiny bit of money. It's not a ton of money, but you know, it helps to support the channel and it is really appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And yes, uh, today I'm just going to show you what happened to layers in Luminar 4. You know, it's a bit different. So a lot of people out there, I got a lot of viewers that think that layers don't exist anymore. They are still there. So I just wanted to show you, I uh, got a picture of Catherine here. Uh, what I am going to do with this picture, however, is do a little crop on it. I have a video already on cropping and I will let you guys uh, check that out. But for now, I'm just going to do a little crop really fast. Fastly, like, like President Trump says, bigly. And so I'll do it really quickly. So it'll be done in a bigly manner whatever bigly means once I say done I go done there you go there you go so we're gonna just edit this a tiny bit uh, today now what happens is that if you decide to start editing right away you're just basically editing on what Photoshop would call it a background layer so there's really no problem you you can work in luminar that way that works very well it's just the way they work is you you basically open the image and you can start working on your image however if you do want to play with layers like you would in Photoshop, um, you have two buttons up here that a lot of people got to learn about. This one right here is basically the uh, typical run of the mill edits that you want to do. Crop and rotate, erase, clone and stamp. Now, those are just uh, uh, great tools. They're just the normal tools that you have and they're there all the time. You also have down here lens and geometry. I'll get into lens and geometry on another video, but for now, I just want to check out layers and tell you guys that it's still there. So let's say I work on this image right here and I, I um, say to myself, you know what? I don't want to touch the uh, original image too much. I want to work on a layer. You just go up to this little icon right here and click on that. And when you do click on that, a little plus sign will appear. When you press the plus sign, you press it and you can add new adjustment layer add new image layer add new image is obviously if you want to do compositing mixing one image with another i just saw a video on the on uh, youtube just now a guy used it to do focus stacking it was pretty amazing great idea uh, to fo focus in do a couple of shots of the same shot with different items in focus and then mask where you want so it can be used for that as well and there's create stamp layer so for now we're going to learn add new adjustment layer so and as soon as we click on new adjustment layer there's an adjustment layer created right here. And now when we affect this adjustment layer, it will not affect what is below. Uh, the easiest way, let's say I want to do something on this layer right here. Uh, I will press, let's go to essentials and I want to work on my color a tiny bit. So I want to saturate the color a bit more and bring in some reds there and some vibrance. Uh, move the color cast a tiny bit. There you can do that. That's pretty nice. Let's say you want to do that. Now, there's one little trick I really like to do uh, in Photoshop, at least, as I always create a black and white layer and then I mix it with the layer below via soft light and it gives me a real dramatic look to my shot. So I'm going to do that on this one just so you get an idea that layers are still there and uh, how to approach them. So what you do here is you go back up to the a layer thing and you go layers and you say i'm going to create a new layer add new adjustment layer and that new adjustment layer will be called adjustment layer number two uh, now you can affect the same photo and do the same thing so i'm going to go into essentials here do black and white conversion and i'm going to go convert to black and white play with my i always like to play with my red slider a tiny bit to get some drama in there there you go that's cool and that's that's how i've i've affected that layer now as soon as you start working in that layer, you'll go into basically this panel here. But as soon as you're done working with that layer, you can go back over here. And when you press the layers panel, you're in each of the different layers with your original photo at the bottom. 
Now, in my case, I have this black and white. What I like to do is play with blend mode. So I will play with blend mode and I will put soft light. Now, it gives me a more dramatic feel to my shot right off the bat. Uh, so let's say I just do soft light and I don't want it to be too dramatic. I can pull this down exactly like a layer in Photoshop and get less of that dramatic feel. There's the full amount. And this is a less right here. Uh, ah, let me pull that. There you go. Like that. There you go. Now, always when you go back, as long as your adjustment layer is picked, you can go back in and uh, play with some of the stuff you played with. It'll be highlighted. Black and white conversion. You can go and play with your filters and it'll affect your photo. Uh, for that layer you just created so people out there all those people some of my readers that thought that layers don't exist they are still there they're still there they're just hidden in a different spot uh that's it for this video guys check it out you guys like share subscribe and don't forget everybody keep on making something from nothing